Hello. If you've been interested in astrology for a while, if you've been tooling around the internet, you've read The Inner Sky from cover to cover, you always look up your sun sign, and you're ready to know more, then I'm about to open a world of fascinating information to you about yourself and about the people in your life. Now, you might think that you could just go on reading the internet forever and that, you know, who needs a teacher? There's so much information out there. And it's true. There is a lot of information out there. And some of it is pretty bad information. And some of it conflicts with other parts of it. And if you've ever gotten an online report, you might also have noticed that those written reports are an awful lot like a recipe book with one piece and another piece, and you find out all about your Mercury in Sagittarius and your moon in Pisces, but you don't ever really get a sense of how it fits together into something more coherent, like a real person, like you. And that's where a teacher comes in. I've been in practice for 25 years. I am CEO and Chief Bottle Washer at PandoraAstrology.com. I have two staff astrologers right now that work here under this umbrella and one apprentice and an awesome VA. And together, we work to bring you an experience of yourself, of your chart, and of your life that empowers you. And so this is the foundation from which I teach astrology. I think that if you really know yourself, then you can live in your life in the best way, the most powerful way, and you can find success and happiness and love um, along with finding the real you. Um, now, you might, you might ask yourself, what class should I take? If I want to learn more about astrology and I want to find out more about myself and the people in my life and I want to take it down to some details and beyond sun signs and even moon signs, then how would I know where to begin? Let me show you my website and the classes page there. So here we are. On my website, which is pandoraastrology.com, that's so tiny, I'm really sorry, slash classes, pandoraastrology.com slash classes. And there are three classes that I'm offering right now, although sometimes there are others. Uh, I offer classes at all of the levels that I see uh, people being at with astrology. And here's how I distinguish them. When you first begin learning about astrology, you start usually from your own chart and you start with the stuff that's familiar. So if you're a Scorpio and you know that you're a Scorpio, you probably want to learn an awful lot about Pluto, but you might over time, you know, learn all about Scorpio and Pluto and, and some about how that influences your chart, but you might not know very much about Mercury or Gemini or Libra there are going to be some empty places in your knowledge. And so my beginner's class, which is called Cosmic Companions, right here, um, is the one that fills in all those gaps. It goes over all of the archetypes of astrology very thoroughly, so that if there's anything you've, missing, you've been missing, you will catch it up here. It also presents to you the beautiful, well-organized system of thought and philosophy that astrology is. And so you also learn about things like the four elements and the three qualities and how they combine to make the 12 signs um, and how our solar system is set up and uh, why the planets behave the way that they do astronomically. So there's a lot jam-packed into that first class in just eight weeks of time. And if that class interests you, how you would find out more about it is you would click in here, the Read More button, and you would come to the page that describes the class in great detail. And there are buttons that appear periodically on that page that enable you to fill in a registration form to get started. And I do suggest that you fill in the form in great detail because this is important information for your participation in the class, including your birth data. And there's a, there's a reason for that, 
which comes down to how I teach. I teach using the charts of students in the class as examples, because that's absolutely the best way to learn, using your own chart and hearing from other people in the class about their experience with their chart. You learn not only from, uh, from your own experience, but also from the contrast between your experience and the experience of others. Let me tell you about the intermediate level classes, because if you feel like you've got a pretty solid handle on all of the 12 archetypes of astrology, then you might be more interested in learning how to break a chart down into its pieces uh, through analyzing it and then synthesizing it back together into a coherent whole. And that's what you get in chart analysis techniques a really fun class that's like a basket of awesome techniques for understanding a chart and breaking it down so that you can notice what sorts to the top and then you can really get a holistic sense of a human being and um, and be clear on which of their traits are the most you know prominent uh, this class includes the elements and qualities in more detail uh, keywords and formulas, like formulaic ways to interpret things. I'm a very practical person myself. I like to think and present information in organized ways. And so I like formulas. And in these classes, I give you all the formulas that I've figured out to help you take these into a chart to understand um, how a person really ticks. Uh, rulerships and dispositorships, uh, also a look at the four angles of the chart, a very important piece, the ascendant, descendant, midheaven, and nadir. Your power source, which is also about rulerships and dispositorship, that's a really powerful piece. Uh, aspects, the aspects are so important, with there are two classes about them. One is about uh, details of each of the aspects, including the very difficult quincunx that everybody wants to know about, and then the greater configurations, such as grand trines, grand crosses, T-squares, and the yod, <laughs> which if you've heard of, it might have you quaking in your boots. <laughs> um, and then there's a class on synastry, how to compare charts with each other, how to blend charts with each other to make composite charts to understand the chemistry that two people make uniquely together. And then there's a class on the history of astrology, because when you really understand where we are in the history of Western astrology, it gives you such a deeper appreciation for what this craft can do. And then there's a class on ethics and uh, things that you should never do and things that you should always do when you're talking to people about their charts, whether you're doing that professionally or just with a friend at the kitchen table. Let's see what else there is here. Uh, prediction and asteroids. And this class is loaded with uh, two different sets of really important information. One of them is um, time-based techniques. That means transits, progressions, return charts, life cycles, moon cycles, eclipses, retrogrades, it's all there. And another very important piece is that this is the class where I teach about the asteroids and Chiron. I've been using the four major asteroids, Ceres, Pallas, Athena, Juno, and Vesta, in my practice since the beginning. And I'm very, very used to them and have developed a lot of information about them, in, including that I believe Ceres is the real ruler of Taurus. And I use it that way and it works. So you can learn all about that. And then Chiron is there too, a really significant, um, important planetoid in our solar system. So let me give you a little quick scan of what's in this class. It's so loaded with good stuff. So yeah, transits, then Chiron, progressions, series. I like to intersperse them, you know, an archetype and then a technique. Moon magic, that includes eclipses and lunar phases. Then we have Pallas Athena, and then retrogrades and trigger planets. Then Juno, life cycle astrology is so fascinating, especially regarding midlife between the ages of 35 and 50. 
ooh, those are some tough years with some really interesting transits that happened to everybody. And you could know about them and you could help your friends through them. Then we have Vesta, return charts like solar returns, but also Saturn returns. Mm. And, uh, and then there's the moon's nodes and the dragon of destiny. And I'll just leave that one on the table. You'll learn about it when you get into the actual class. So when you're in the intermediate phase, that's when you're practicing synthesis. That's when you're learning the more advanced techniques and the more advanced archetypes. So that's what chart analysis techniques and prediction in asteroids are about. When you feel like you can really synthesize charts, you can pick out the most important stuff, you hit it bang on pretty much every time, then you'd be ready for an advanced class which prepares you for or supports you in your professionalism. And whether you're interested in using astrology as a hobbyist for the rest of your life or, um, or actually practicing it, the advanced class can help you with things like setting up a practice, marketing your practice, um, deciding how you're going to see clients, coming up with a format for analyzing charts so that you can deliver quality work every time. Oh, what else do I want to tell you about? I want to tell you a little bit about how these classes are conducted. Uh, before each class session, you receive uh, a link for downloading the lecture recording. I don't do lectures in class. You get them ahead of time. You can listen, them, listen to them as often as you want to, as slowly as you want to. Learn at your own pace. Come to class with your questions or your, <laughs> I don't even know what, your, your curiosity. And then all of the class time is dedicated to examples. We just use your chart and the other students' charts uh, to, to study and, and learn and practice. Um, so classes are small on purpose, usually four to ten people, so that everyone gets attention in every single class. Once you know what you want, it's very easy to uh, go uh, find the registration page for the class that you want, and then go ahead and hit that button and fill in the web form. And when you do, my lovely and talented assistant will reply with, uh, you know, with your orientation and will help you get through the payment process or at least start the payment process. There are plans. You can use a payment plan if that makes it easier. Um, but once you commit to this journey, there's no turning back. It's an amazing journey into an incredibly granular personality typing system that's embedded in nature. And um, you will be astonished at what you learn. I really hope you join me. Take care. <laughs> And perhaps, perhaps we'll get to work together.